Hello, welcome back. So, um, the uh, fillers didn't really work because I figured out there's a tiny bug with fillers on the server, so they don't work. I made this little thing here, number one platform, and uh, this is I don't know if you remember, Harry gave me some water mills, told me to put them in water and they, they give me power. So I've got a full bat box, and also this is an MFE. Just sort of an upgrade of a back box, and um, then you can get an MFSU. Yeah. Anyway, it's quite dark uh, out here, and actually, but today is all about railcraft. Yep, all about railcraft. Kind of get in this hole, get in the hole, get in the hole. Okay, railcraft. So I made my first rails. A uh, couple of just in between episodes. This thing is a rolling machine. You need a rolling machine to um, to do some stuff in railcraft. So it's just piston, pistons, iron, and a crafting table. And um, basically, with this, you pop in some iron. Well, actually, there's there's two things that you make. So they're, they're called rails. So these things. We don't need high speed rails for now. They're sort of irrelevant. Yeah, in the rolling machine you use these iron and you get eight if you use steel. But um steel is a bit complicated. We might do that later. And for advanced rails you need rails, redstone and gold. Now I have an absolute crap ton of gold. And I don't know how. I think it's probably because me and Oscar I showed Oscar how to make a mini factory, and so we sort of did. Right, so the first thing you need to do is the recipe. Oh, I've got to pick up the iron. Iron. Oh, we don't have much iron. Let's make some from our gold. Well, uh, There. Loads of iron. Oh, too much iron. <laughs> oh god. I just take two stacks. Two stacks in a bit. Three stacks. Now I've got gold. I need some redstone. One stack, two stack, three stack. Four stacks. Get out of do. If you're wondering what this is, by the way, this is a gun. It's called a musket. Basically, you load it, and then um, you just shoot it. It's basically, you can one-shot kill pretty much anything. It's quite cool. Top of bed. And, uh, yeah, it uses musket bullets and stuff. So, now we'll make our rails. I don't know what our first sort of project should be with their rails. Anyway, you get the iron and you just chuck it in like the uh, thing said and you get these standard rails. I'll make a stack. That'll be enough. And then turn some of these standard rails into the advanced rails which are redstone and gold Let's make a stack of these I think we're going to need some more standard rails actually because they're the sort of main base Let's make another stack Uh, let's make a few more. Okay, I think that will do. Yeah, that will do. Right, now, we don't need the rolling machine anymore. Because, we need to, uh, I don't know if you guys have looked up the track recipes. If you just type in track, 
get all the different types of tracks. So the basic track is standard rails, and then this is uh, all it says stone, but it's actually wooden rail bed. They're made with wooden ties. Now wooden ties, as you could probably guess, needs wood, but it also needs creosote oil. So our creosote oil does come in handy after all. So we need to get it out of uh, whichever chest it's in. This one. Pop that one back in. And um, so we need a lot of these. Basically, what you have to do first is you have to make wooden slabs. Just put those in there. That will do for now. Now with the wooden slabs, you put them like that, with the creosote oil on top there. It makes you wooden ties. Now just take four of those. Get to the other project table. Oh my god, there's so much crap in here. Did we get them? Oh, we left them in there. You need four wooden ties in any shape to make you stone rail bed or wooden rail bed, sorry. Any shape is unshaped crafting. And then as you saw, rails. So it makes you sixteen, so even though it is like super expensive it's sort of worth it I'll make as many of these as I can there you go and now let's do it in a nice t-shape there only eight okay so we obviously want to make some more tracks Oh, we also, if you play, if you do vanilla, we'll obviously need some power rail booster track. Power track is these advanced rails, wooden rail bed again, and redstone. But um, also, we need these boarding tracks, which allow you to go from one place into another direction. So they're a good way to start off your track if you're doing them. So we'll need some of those. And also I think we'll take some of these as well. Which are the same as these but just in different order. Uh we'll probably look at some of the other tracks later. Another one I want to get is a detector rail and also launcher track, which are super expensive. So now for now we'll just make some powered rail. So that's Advanced rail, stone rail bed, and redstone. So, where's our advanced rails? Here they are. And redstone, I'm pretty sure we had some of that, yeah. 40 of them, well, that's probably a few too many, but oh well. Now, um, we don't really have a railcraft layer underground. We will get one, but yeah, they're they're the basic sort of tracks, and uh, I'm also going to show you how to make a similar furnace to that coke one over there. You saw how the steel made us twice as many uh, rails. We didn't make us because we didn't have any, but um, yeah, that's we're gonna make steel. You need another one of these massive furnaces, but you need um more stuff. So it's got a blast brick furnace. And uh, you need a lot of these actually and they're pretty expensive. We have soul sand, we ha we will have nether brick if we can smelt some I think we've got oh no we don't have any slime balls. We'll do that next episode. But um yeah so that's basic sort of tracks. You use them in the same way as you do in um normal vanilla Minecraft. Power that with a uh, uh the next thing we need to make I'll just look if no we don't we need red oh yeah we do. We need red dye for it. it's called a crowbar. There's the tool of uh railcraft. 
left. I think the way you make it is you make red dye. And you put the red dye like that. And you put iron like that. Yeah. Crowbar. There you go. This basically destroys rails super quick and does other stuff. I don't even know you can make iron nuggets. Um yes, yeah, so that's what that does. Also looks like a badass weapon. Can you look at that. Bang, bang, bang. Um another thing I wanted to show you is the full force of this musket. It's not actually a musket. Yeah, it's a musket with a bayonet, which is a throwing knife. You need to find an animal of some sort. I have got my rubber boots in here. Looks like someone's TNT'd. Oh. Any animals anywhere? Anywhere? Ah, uh, piggy. Load the gun. That's loaded. You can shoot while flying, but you don't have a very good aim. Close range, close range. No, no, stop running away. It's running away. No, can't get him now. You shoot it in the same way as you shoot an arrow, bow and arrow. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Bang. Oof. Sorry, Mr. Piggy. It's that little cave down there. Oh, nice. I love caves. Um, yeah. Also, I think we should uh, make some crops in a couple of episodes time. Maybe make like a... Well, actually, when we move on to red power, we can make automatic sort of crop farms. Which would be pretty cool. I got those. Um, yeah. Uh-oh. Night forest. Uh, you probably have noticed, but I put... um. The interdiction torches around my base just to make sure that no monsters are gonna come in or something like that. I don't know why, but lately I haven't been using any hunger whatsoever. It's a bit weird actually. Oh, I nicked some of these cookies from spawn. I put some cookies at spawn. Um, yeah, so next episode. Do more railcraft, proper one, proper railcraft with uh, chess carts and stuff. <laughs> and at some point, we're gonna need to get a uh, better power source. It's with um, yeah, because solar panels don't just do everything. But that MFE down there, I'll just show you the sort of difference in. Thank God, there's no jokers down here. So this bat box, if you see, um, it says out 32 EU per T, that means tick. This puts out 128 EU per tick. So uh, the machines that I've got upstairs take one, uh, 32 EU per tick. But if they took 128, they would explode. So you need these things called transformers, which, um, so basically this will take 128. Um, Put out 32, but sometimes they explode. <laughs> but transformers don't explode unless you use the wrong one. So we will need to use uh, them. And uh, yeah, power source. The uh, next best thing is a nuclear reactor, which we might build. But I think we'll do that in uh, like a long time. So uh, I'll see you next episode. And for now, goodbye.